हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल माय नेम इज अंकुश टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट हाउ टू चेंज द डीबी आईडी दैट इज डेटाबेस आईडी इन अ ओरेकल डेटाबेस इन माय प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव सीन हाउ टू चेंज द डेटाबेस नेम विद द हेल्प ऑफ एन आईडी यूटिलिटी in this video we are mainly focusing on to change the database id with the help of an id utility the most important thing is when you are using or when you are in a situation where we need to change the database id is that after changing the database id all the backups will be unusable so make sure we do have the backups in handy with us so that in case of any issue we can restore it by using that backup okay so we are going to see it in a practical way and setting the environment here new db is the database name let me connect to the sql plus utility okay so but in order to change the database name or in db id the database should be in mount stage here i am starting the database with the mount option now we are going to use this nid utility basically you will find this nid utility in bin directory because all our executable files you will see in a bin directory here okay and now here i can see these are the parameters which are available with the nid utility so i am using this syntax to change the db id okay so before using this syntax let me describe you what exactly is going on nid is a utility which will help us to change the database id or db name here we are changing db id okay then the log file you can see here it is a output log file okay we can use this for our reference purpose in a future okay let me check the log file one thing we missed here to check the db id before using this okay you can see the previous db id as well here in the log file okay so previously this was our db id now it is making the changes to the control file then it is making all the db id changes to the all data files okay here it is showing as changing the database id from this one to last three digit as 1x4 okay let me check whether the database id has been changed or not hmm? but before that here you can see all the backups will be and archive logs will be unusable as i said earlier and you need to start the database with reset log option the database already shut down mode okay let me connect to this sql plus utility start up we should get the error saying that we need to start the database with reset log option okay we got the error now i am starting the database with reset logs
now we will check the new database id whether it, it has been taken the changes or not we can see the previous id in our log file itself okay let me check the status We'll check the DB ID as well. So this is my new DB ID. Okay. Let me take it in a notepad file. This is the after change. and what was the previous one when it is connecting to the utility previously it was 889 before change it was okay see here previously it was 889 okay now it is 164 you can see the changes the name of the database is same only new db okay so by using this nid utility you can change the database name as well as the db id if you have any issue you can write a mail or even directly reach out to me for training purpose also you can reach out to me personally thank you so much for watching this video i will come up with the next video very soon thank you